advices to like future entrepreneurs. But we know also that there's also a reality that not everybody will end up as an entrepreneur because of different reasons, but uh, they still have the entrepreneurial spirit inside. So they will hopefully end up as an entrepreneur in, in big companies. And like we have the representative from the company. So I want to hear more advices to entrepreneurs that have like the, with these entrepreneurial skills in the companies and would you like to do something in, in, in their environment? Yeah, maybe you comment on that? Yeah, uh, th this is interesting because, you know, I, I give you one example. A couple of weeks ago, I was interviewing with somebody who bankrupt his you know, own company. said, I know I, I just do it, this interview, but I know that you would not be interested. And then the, the gentleman started to talk how he screwed up three times in his life. And I said, tell me what you learned from your mistake. And he did it. And we hired him, and I think it was one of the best hires, you know, in my career. So we are really looking. I mean, it doesn't mean that if, if, even if you are not, you know, becoming successful entrepreneur, you learn a lot and you can use it as, as you rightly said, entrepreneur, you know, in the company. Because I tell you what, what, what is becoming with the big companies like IBM, Google, Microsoft, because we are public companies and everything is driven by the quarter result. Yesterday, Microsoft, by the way, announced did the quarter result. So everything is driven by the scorecard and everything is like rhythm of the business. We need to have creativity, innovation, and young people. I'm like always saying that people like me, I can help with the Microsoft strategy, but will I make difference against you know, Google or Apple? We need to have young generation entrepreneurs, you know, right, in, in the company with the new you know, ideas. So there's a lot of I think there's a lot of space for for such you know people in each and every company. Okay. Any other question? Yes, over here. And after that, maybe a last question, and uh, we will have to conclude. I have just a moment ago garage company. For me, as we are speaking about American experience. So I was hired 20 years ago by two person garage company to help them to compete with large company in the advanced technology in membrane science. And after obtaining six American patents in six months, but the small company from venture capital, my, the owners of company asked me, Jan, go to large companies and sell our patents. We need money. And first story I want you to remember for this all who start the company on the open American type market is when you arrived to the large company, it was not Microsoft, not. When so you are sitting in the room with three person, your friend from the uh, corporate research, some person responsible from new business development, and somebody else. After three, three meetings, I was very interested, who is the third one? Third one was trained in psychology, who was observed me, if I am strong enough and motivated enough, so could be danger in future for the company. Because I was not so much danger, this line of selling the value was not effective. But I start seeing where is the way more rational to jump into the business. And yesterday I say friends are important. Today I want to add the next sentence. Allies are important. I found the medium science innovative company and I ask them to help me expand their uh, portfolio of offer and do it before we will, or they, the owners, will be accepted by the major, major players. And it works because this medium-sized company added to some ideas from our patent about three million Canadian dollars. They have developed the market product and just two years ago, the original idea of the small company was sold to General Electric and General Electric 
is earning each year about 300 million euros only in Europe. So, I want you to remember, you need a friend, and you need the allies, and you need also understand, when you are looking for a life, you need also understand the motivation of your partner of the business. Not necessarily the large company has the same motivation. So please take into account. Thank you very much. Any comments on that? No? It's clear. The last question? Sorry. The last question, maybe? Yes. Just to add on to the discussion on entrepreneurship with respect to entrepreneurship, um, I wonder if you can throw some more perspective on how does one share the IP uh, if someone has come up with an idea and uh, his or her company is behind it to actually develop the product, then it's the company who, which will own the intellectual property and the patent and the royalties or all the profits that come from it. So uh, why, why do you split the, you know, the value of the idea also and the value of developing something and if you can throw some perspective on that. Who has some expertise on that? Yeah, well, what, what, we, what we try to do, you know, always as a, as a big company, so we have the you, you talk probably about, you know, research and development to have the best people because this is the base and we need to have a great, you know, sales and marketing. So we have a really like competition schemes on, you know, top options and stock. You mentioned the, the, the same for the startup. That's the same which is used by the, uh, by the big companies. So, and I think the, the ability to really keep, for example, in Microsoft, top guy who used to work in digital, who they got like four years of you know experience shows that there is something good we are doing in that you know uh, field. But I I wouldn't be that much you know uh, afraid if you wanted to go in this you know, way. But in general, the question of valuation of, of the IP is a very difficult one for innovative companies because uh, how do you value your IP when you attract money to your company? have to split the shareholding. Is it 80-20? Is it 50-50? Is it 20-80? Uh, and, uh, well, in fact, it's art, not science. If the idea is innovative, there is no scientific way to value. Because, for instance, uh, if there are two, the, the, the best example would be two identical ideas are developed in two corners of the world, and both are, are financed, but one uh, just happens to be first in the market. And the value of this that wins the market can be huge, the, the value of the other is zero. So you, uh, you should really, it, it's really not very important what the split is at the beginning, uh, the important thing is that you structure your agreement with the financing party in such a way that you earn 